All right, boys and girls, how are we doing? Welcome to day four of my playthrough of the Outer Worlds. Let's rock and roll. Get my pew pews. It's time to go exploring a new location. Sometimes I can hear Vickers saying prayers to himself. Sometimes I hear him cussing about toss ball scores. Right, you're going to come along with me, aren't you? Looks go mad. They come at you, swearing at them. I will take uh, Parviti as he wants to talk to someone. Groundbreaker. I get this, guess this ship is like massive. I don't think we'll need our guns here, Pevy, but just keep your eyes open just in case. your ship's manifest standard procedure welcome to groundbreaker by the by don't mind the heat got a few days before it reaches critical captain hey captain i'm in space i never thought i'd be able to say that mm -hmm. time to rob everything oh we would be robbing it Right, what exactly are we doing here? It's only got one mission in the whole thing anyway. Weapons from the void? What is that? That's back on the ship. Uh, we'll leave it. We can, we can do that later, right? A cryer science weapon on the ground worker. Okay. Why do we need to go back on the ship? Let 
not the point. This halfwit just knocked out one of my workers. Yeah, with a toss ball stick, I heard you the first time. There weren't any witnesses. No witnesses? He's not even denying it. Jackass had it coming. Shut it, Felix. You're not making this any better. You get yeah, with Felix. Again, you little back bay brat, I will toss you out an airlock. This is the groundbreaker, not Byzantium. You ain't the law here. I am. Now move along. I don't have time for this. You a drink. Going for a stroll around the docking base? I noticed you were in the middle of an argument. Sure was. Got a knack for upsetting the board and the Mardettes all at once. Between you and me, I was hoping they'd come to fisticuffs. I'd like to hear your side. What happened? I hear you knock someone out with a tossball stick. I almost like you. I almost like you wanted to get arrested. That guard tweet threatened to toss you out an earlock. I had this foreman, right? Guy never liked me. Always trying to get a rise out of me. But I keep my chin up, right? Be the bigger man, I tell myself. He's a spacer's chosen man, though. So when the chosen beat my rangers the other night, my foreman comes swaggering up with his head full of boasting. And that's when you observed your differences like an adult, right? Oh boy. So do you defend the honor of your team? Exactly. I was only doing what any self-respecting rangers fan would have done. Look, this was a long time coming. Guy thinks he can push me around because he's some sky-high foreman and I'm just a back bay's dock worker. Well, former dock worker. Guess I just tendered my resignation. Got any plans? Sounds like you're better off on your own. You're just lucky you're not serving a sentence. Enjoy my freedom. Scrounge together enough bits for a zero G. Other than that, can't say as I do. Hey, not for nothing. But I saw you wander out of that ship over there by the dock. Wouldn't happen to be yours, would it? Tis would be. That's me. Captain of the Unreliable. Technically... Provisions to Captain Dead in a horrible accident. Pre Technically, the previous Captain died in a horrible accident. Captain of the Unreliable. You're like something out of a serial drama. Hey, I don't want to talk your ears off, guessing you got places to be. I appreciate your time. I never caught your name. I'm Max. You're in a hurry to go somewhere? Felix Millstone. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Hey, Cisco. How you doing? Boot to you too. Hope you're feeling better. I know you were sick yesterday, the last couple of days. How are you feeling good? Uh, see you around, Felix. See you around, boss. Yeah, I've been working sub life. We used to pay the bills sometimes. Yeah, fascinating. Yeah. <laughs> no, we can't take these. It would be stealing. Stealing poverty. Mind, I'm trying to file a report. Carry on. You carry on. Look at you. All shiny and gold. How you doing later? You wanna get a drink? Bye bye. I'd be like that. See if I care. If it wasn't for us, this whole damn station would shut down. Damn right. Meh, no, I didn't get to sleep last night, last morning. Sorry to hear that, Cisco. How are you? I'm good. I'm just chilling. I'm a just a chilling, messing around. I'm cool. Wish we had bigger weapons, but no. Be careful about blowing holes in the hull. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Why 
would they let me up here? What's the reason behind that? <laughs> Perfetti, come on, stop messing around, girls. We gotta go. We got places to do and people to see. Why do I need to hack that? That would seem bad. Oh, that's the guy. That's the guy. I wonder what that fella did to get the board so wild at him. Customs and inspection, right this way. Oh, what have we got? Anything nice? Usual. No mods, or oh, they have mods. Expensive mods. But I'll do some nice of each shot. Maybe we might bite the bullet on that. Use your melee and defense skills modification. 700. I find my middle finger today. Can't hold the controller. I'm, I'm, so I'm rolling now. Okay, that's nice. That's nice, Cisco. Keep on rolling. We'll roll together. <laughs> what do we got? We got melee weapon attack. Power attack damage plus 20%. Melee weapon durability plus 25%. How much is that? 600. Increase your tech skills plus five. It's the armor I'm using right now. Identification, please. Uh, President Hawthorn, here you go. <laughs> my name is Mac, it's my first time here. Let's say, hypothetically speaking, I don't have an ED. What happens then? You've got a ship, but you've never visited Groundbreaker. <laughs> you must have just dusted off from one of those dirt side outposts. Sure did. And now we're in space. Well, welcome to Groundbreaker. I'm sorry to tell you this, but I'm about to ruin your day. According to your ship's record, you've been flagged by the board. Your ship will be impounded until such a time as they see fit to lift it. How do I get this resolved so I'm stuck here? You'll want to take it up with Udom Bedford, our board representative here on Groundbreaker. His office is located along the starboard wall of the promenade. It shines like a Byzantium commode. You can't miss it. Any idea why my ship was impounded? I take it this happens a lot. Access to that information is above my pay grade, and I've turned down three promotions, so it stays that way. I shouldn't be mentioning it, but what the hell? This here, impounding your ship, it doesn't happen much. The board knows we don't take kindly to their interfering in our operations. If I had to take a guess as to why, you must have riled up someone important. Uh oh, SpaghettiOs. Great, I'll go talk to him and straighten this out. This has to be a mistake. I'm going to write to. I'm going to write, ring this Belfort's guy's neck. You take the starch out of him, well, you won't hear any complaints from me. Oh, and if you're headed that way, would you mind doing me a favor? I'm not doing you a fair, your, your job for you. Door. Wanda Dorset over in sick bay. Tell her the shipment's not in yet. It's not coming in anytime soon, and if she'd be so obliged to get off my ass about it. Got it. A shipment? Ah, a handful of sand cleaning units retrofitted for surgery. I don't know much else. I stopped listening when she started yelling. Got it. Much appreciated. Is there anything else I can help you with? Uh, I'm looking for someone named Gladys. Offense. 
You'll find her in the rest and go. On your left when you enter the promenade. Make sure you bring an empty belly. What? <laughs> I'm looking for a drink. Any recommendations? Ooh, Most yeah. places are on the promenade deck. Big door yonder. Straight through security. There's a bar on the starboard side. I got a preference for the Lost Hope myself. Talk to Vera. She'll set you right. Got it. You need anything else? You let me know. Don't want anyone saying Groundbreaker's not the most hospitable port in the colony. I find a job around here. Maybe. Most of the shipping traffic in the system passes through Groundbreaker. Every couple of months, we even get a big interstellar freighter. Two biggest operations are the board. That is, Halcyon Holdings and Sublight Salvage. But there are independent operators around the promenade deck. Most of those jobs are going to take you off station, though. Uh, how does Halcyon run and works anyway? I don't think there are many independent operators in the system. What do you know about Sublight Salvage? They strip the parts from derelict ships and abandoned outposts. There's some that say they make the derelicts and encourage folks to abandon their steads. Sublight gives me the creeps. I've known folks who went to work for them and just vanished. They're on the promenade run by a woman named Lilia Hagen. I'm only telling you so you know to avoid them. Right. Avoid them. Okay. Uh, Are you pulling my leg? I'm near around here. I just want to hear your take on it. I'm just feeling you. Of course I know the border. Goes like this. Back on Earth, before the crossing, the powers that be were selling off stakes in distant star systems they thought had potential. A bunch of companies decided to throw in together and form the Halcyon Holdings Corporation, then buy up the rights to this here colony. That group's what we now call the Board. Board runs most of the system, don't they? How does Groundbreaker fit into that? Oh, there's actually boardroom somewhere with all these companies' heads in it. Sitting around drinking whiskey and smoking cigars, yeah, probably. Can't say for sure, of course. Doubt I'll ever see the inside of it myself. Yep, Groundbreaker's the only real independent port. Aside from us, there's just tramp freighters and wildcat miners. Seems like every year the board's offices get bigger and their ships take up more of the landing bays. Haven't seen nearly as many tramp crews this year. Groundbreaker was one of the original colony vessels to come over on the crossing, a few years before her sister ship, the Hope. Once everybody'd been dethawed and dropped dirt side, the original crew of the Groundbreaker decided they rather liked the spacefaring life. I guess that was the start of our independent spirit. Now, here we are. Got it. Glad to help. Commandant Sanita might have a couple of folks she needs killed. Bad folks, I mean. Not, uh, not regular folks. She'll be at the security desk behind me. Chief Jun Lei might have an errand needs running. She's all tied up trying to fix our heat problem. You'll find her in engineering. No kidding? I'd love to get a look at this old girl's innards. I bet they're real twisty and weird. In a good way. Got it, thanks. If you're thinking to make a career here, don't waste your time. Full-time jobs on Groundbreaker tend to be inherited. Or go to a fellow crew member's kid. Keep it in the family, you know. I didn't think there were many independent operators in the system. Relative to the board holdings? Not really. But there's a few with the means to go where they will. They aren't rich, but they aren't likely to look too close at your work history either. That's all I need to know about work. Alright. That's about it. He's friendly enough unless you speak ill of the board. Get the sense he doesn't care for Groundbreaker much. Not that he would, being a board man and all. He's our liaison. Sounds like a fun guy, so there's tension between Groundbreaker and the board. They can't abide an independent township, especially not one they gotta depend on. We're the first and last stop out of this colony. All their interstellar freighters come through us. And we skim a few bits off the top and manifest processing fees with every one. Folks around here will bluster that the board hates our freedom. But really, they know we can stop their out-system shipments anytime we like. And that 
terrifies them. Yeah, you say it's in his uh, in state of disrepair. You could make the board fix it. Why can't Groundbreaker and the board just work together? I'm glad it terrifies them. The bastards keep keep pushing them. <laughs> yeah. It's a delicate balance, right? We could cancel their freighter's docking privileges in retaliation, but where'd that lead us? They got assault cruisers, gunships, and a handful of mining operations at their fingertips. We push them too hard, maybe they decide we'd be better in 10 trillion little pieces. Or they cobble together a new groundbreaker and put us out of business. The board wouldn't do that, would they? It's a tough line to walk, no doubt about that. But we may do all right, so far anyway. Thanks for the info. See you around, bud. Be seeing you. There's no place else to go here, I don't think. Watch workbench. Okay, nice. Guess these people have the jobs. Unless you're here to file an incident report or to inquire about the bounty posting, I must kindly ask you to clear out. The Mardet's offices aren't for leisure time nor loitering. Okay. <laughs> what bounties do you have available? Couldn't help but notice the bounty posting on Pine Penis Well. So what's it like working security detail on a, you know, on a space station? Got a hot one for you. Captain Gunner McRed. Just 26 hours old. Uh, the posting, that is. Not the criminal. Uh, allegations include several counts of flying under the influence, carrying open alcoholic containers, failure to pay docking fees, I like him already. arrest, and assaulting not one, but two officers. What a champ. Where do I meet this fine fellow? <laughs> Lying on the influence of illegal substances. Talking to officers. I can see why he's wanted dead or alive. <sighs> Dreadful, ain't it? Such blatant disregard for order. It's a real problem in the youth these days. It's true enough that he ain't particularly deadly, but the interest on each fine being compounded as they are means he'll be paying with his life insurance. Only way to cover milk. it. <laughs> Last tip we got pointed I, toward the back I think base. he's thinking more than milk, you Cisco. Want the reward? Do the leg work. I'll take the posting. Why don't you send uh, Mads to apprehend him? Oh, I will. As soon as the chief approves the personnel reorg required for a bounty dispatch. So, in about three to seven weeks. <laughs> I'll take it. You and about six other enterprising mavericks. It's only a matter of time before someone brings me McRed's head, or his lucky lighter, as proof of kill. I do hope you're the lucky hunter, though. Good luck and skip speed to you. Uh, I couldn't help but notice the bouncing tower. The outlaw scientist fella, right. Yeah. The board's had it out for him for ages. If you have an inkling of the where's or what for's of his location, Udon Bedford would surely like to hear it. Got it. This uh, Wells fella, famous criminal or something. He's Udon Bedford. To the board, yeah. You've read his wanted poster. Whole list of things to get their unders in a wad. But he's never done nothing to Groundbreaker, so I've no problem with him. We keep the poster up to keep the peace, is all. Oh, what's it like working security detail on a space station? Do I look like your gossipy best friend? <laughs> While I'm on post, I take my duties real serious. I would have no qualms whatsoever escorting you to a cell. Understand? I'm fine. Ooh, all right. Just trying to make conversation. And yeah, no one talks to me like that. <laughs> I'm not here for a chat. Now get moving before I see you moved. Ooh. I'll be on my way. How did you get in there, Pavetti? Hi there. Haven't seen you around before. What can Groundbreaker Security do for you today? 
Uh, just get my bearings. What do you do here? I wouldn't really like to get back there. I could do some work. Any pointers? Chief Tennyson don't generally hire outsiders for station jobs, but you could try asking at Sublight Salvage. They got an office on the far end of the promenade deck. Anything else I can help you with, mister? Uh, what do you do here? I wouldn't really like to get back there. Chief. Tell me about Sublight Salvage. Chief Junlei Tennyson. She runs the ship. Does a real great job of it, too. Her family's worked on it for, gosh, since it was built, I think. Back before the crossing. What's she like? I is she a good boss? Good as she can be, I guess. What with all the troubles Groundbreaker's facing. She could stand to lighten up, I suppose. But she tries her best to do right by folks, and that's what matters. Leaving a ship the size of the Groundbreaker must be challenge. challenging. Must be a challenge. You got it right. Why would you want to know that, Piven? No reason. Don't you trouble yourself over it, Captain. That was very convincing, miss. I think your captain almost bought it. <laughs> One hassle my crew, kid. Sure is, but she makes it look easy. She's real competent, our chief, even if she ain't real friendly. This is the security desk, sir. If you're here to report a crime, you'll want to talk to Commandant Sunita. I'm not authorized to take incident reports anymore. Uh, why can't you take incident reports? You, do you do? I, I don't know, pores or something? I bet you got sealed counterburn from all of the system locked up back there. Not surprising. Raiders come through the station. Let's keep you busy. I'm not so good at filing. Mix up first name and surname one, two, seven times. Well, folks are liable to start taking your filing privileges away. Sure. And stuff from outside the system, too. Off the uh, interstellar freighters. That's why we also have so many armed Mardettes on duty here. What if some of that's confident with mine and I'm here to claim it? That'd be <laughs> weird. On account of you should be locked up back here too then. <laughs> we can't just let anyone walk in here. I wouldn't be, uh, well, that's not, we just don't. Maybe if you clear an open bounty and get in good with Commandant Sunita, or help Chief Tennyson fix this heat, that might warrant a thank you tour or something. Hmm, any chance to change your mind? Alright, I forgot to pay the filing fee, that was... <laughs> Alright. Uh, let's see. See you around, bud. Huh? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. I picked up this weird signal the other day. It was coming from Monarch. Here we go again. No one... We can I need to repair it. I do. I can need to repair that. Then drop them out, change the weapon time back to sh plasma.
Kit and it said plasma knives, but not plasma weapons. Ah, there's the silence. Burnt weapon reduce the knives recharge minus sixty six percent. Auto pistol. We lived on Monarch. It's a wasteland. You were hearing things. No, seriously. There was a lot of static at first, but then this voice said his name was Graham? Graham, right. Broadcasting on a dead world full of monsters. Now I've heard everything. You know, it takes more muscles to frown than to smile. Who told you that, Graham? Asshole. Uh, will we get into trouble for picking this up? Yonk. We found an ID catcher to use with holographic swag. Will now be automatically disguised when entering associate restricted area. Okay, gotcha. Nice. I didn't mean to disturb you. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. The board would like to remind spacers and other travelers that passage to Monarch is restricted for your protection. Canyons of acid and sulfur rain are the least of the horrors plaguing the surface of Monarch. Anarchists live as one with the animal, lawless, savage, and unemployed. The board's embargo ensures that nothing can leave the planet and threaten our hard-working citizens. This is Halcyon News, reminding you that there's no I in News, no We in Halcyon, and no Mercury in Saltoon. Oh, it's fascinating. We're gonna head to Varus for whiskey and darts. Maybe not in that order. Sounds good to me. Let's go. Careful where you smoke. Crude bills us for air filtration. Those bastards. New rest and gold key card. Uh, no, we're good. Let's not steal anything yet. <laughs> Oh wow, what is this? Rizzo's Purpleberry Fudge. A soft, sour candy shell around a sweet purpleberry flavored center. Suck it, chew it, you can do it. <laughs> Rizzo's Purpleberry Crunch. Triperdale Flake has purpleberry flavored sour nuggets. Hmm? Hmm? Rizzo's Spectrum Vodka. Astrogate the rainbow. You keep that pistol holstered while you're here. I like their uniforms. They're very Flash Gordon from the 1920s and 30s. I like that. I like it a lot. They got style. They're right, perfect. Punch. You want a punch? You got your punch right here. Careful where you smoke. The crew builds up for air. Hello. Move along. Oh. 
it just me, or has it been deader than usual around here? This tramp freight is more pads. Are there enough tramps and house hands to make up the Mechanicals all over, but they still got us sweating to new fuck. Assholes most shaking to sell us freighters. One nearly rammed me on the way in. If you got a complaint, file it at security. Yar. Hey. Hey, how you doing? Do we need to hack it? Yeah, let's hack it. Why not? Haven't seen him in days. And where are the tile? Why? And where are we on the tile clock? He's dying toward me. Anything is that crew's morale is proportional to the quality of their outhouse. You take away a crew's plumbing, you take away the pile. Privacy and dignity. Let's get that toilet fixed. Even though it's been a, a night on 20, nigh on 20 years since our last meetup on Groundbreaker, I was hoping we could get the old gang back together. I understand that things have changed. Some of us are long range haulers, some of us have gone corporate, some of us are likely dead, and some of us are on. Tyrannus and not reading this message, but I haven't lost hope. No one responded to my last invite. I hope that means your schedules are full up with family gatherings and job opportunities. So I just got off. I just got off ice. What? I just got off ice from a round trip to Daspadka. Two years out, two years back. Imagine my surprise when we that God when we that tarred and groundbreaker comms told us how docking was going to be delayed. One hour turned into five, then days went by. In the end we spent an entire goddamn week waiting for a boat on this lower fucked boat bucket. And because we were kicking our heels all that time not one of us got paid. I don't know how about you, but I got expenses of family. I don't need to see often enough debt. You wouldn't fucking believe. And even if I'm not working, I'm still gonna make pay my payments. Does that seem proper to you? Won't we conveyors have rights? We should do something about this. If you agree, leave a message here and I'll respond when I get back from grandson in two years. Message is no longer accessible at the current level. The attempt to access the message has been logged. Message does not exist. The general notice about your impound policies. If the board impounds your ship, take it up with the board. The embassy is in the Gunji building opposite Sublights Warehouse. Send them your questions, outstanding fees, and hate mail. Especially hate mail. Don't break us and pay impound you. Pay your damn fees and don't bother my people. I wasn't seen looking for a new crew to sign with me. I've been stuck in the house room for almost a year now. Don't know what's holding up my nest posting. Never had to write this long to get it on another freighter. I plan to take care of one of the rare long hauls back to Earth, but I haven't been able to find any. And even the shorter skips to the inner world seem wider, rarer than the outer world reach these days. If anyone has any information about up and coming world, please post it here. Okay, yeah, so there's my story. My ship limps into Groundbreaker in a rough state. Couldn't make our repair fees, the dock fees, refueling, or the fees for not being able to pay our fees. So I'm looking kind of stuck here now. Then they took my ship and sold it off as scrap. 
Now my credit is shut to hell and corporate traders won't hire me on. I'm hoping someone with bunk to with a bunk to spare and a place to go is feeling charitable. Thanks for listening. This note has been posted fifty six times in six hundred and thirty two days. Ooh, that's that's not good. Those of you who have uh, uh, raised concerns about the quality of groundbreakers' uh, finettes, yes, I'm aware. The promenade stinks. Allow me to put the matter to rest. Now, as I didn't raise form, humble beings on a diet of straw wash and burst, but that's really the life up here. If you can't salt it, can't pan it, or zip it, up and about, then we're not picky about calling it food. This is make do with what they have. And what we have is smelly meat, lots of salt, and, yeah, and 11 kinds of mustard. Last time I counted, frying a giant. <laughs> oh, Go back to Byzantium, you gold plate. Hang on. We need... What are we doing? Talk to... Um, uh, inform me that your ship has been impounded. We need to speak to Gladys. That's what we need yeah, to do. No one wants you on Groundbreaker. These stairs are board property. Disperse now or I'll detain you for trespassing. Can you see this oh, man? real for scary. You're really gonna arrest us on our station? Yeah, this is Chief Junlei's ship. You don't own sh Hey Sam, how you doing, bro? Bro. 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 Like how you doing? Loving that hat, buddy. Yeah, it's cool, isn't it? Uh <laughs> Bula. Get the job to repair and break down. Oh no, yeah. Get here. Step back. I'm required by board bylaws to use a. I want a cowboy hat. The Mardets would space you for trying, you. You waste of O2 scrubbers. Yeah, O2 scrubbers. <laughs> Look, just get out of here before I tell your captain what you've been getting up to on the clock. Ah, whatever. We got a date at the Lost Hope anyway. Is this really what you want? Alright, what's that one? That's passes anywhere. What's the one word the one? Passes anywhere. Right there. Taking skills online, okay. Uh change floors. Empty man, weapons in the void. The floors above us? Oh, there is floors above us. Okay, Jesus. Okay. Uh, we will have to find. Reward offers for information needed to the capture of noted terrorist Phineas Wells. Report any sightings to your local board embassy. Have you seen this man? Reward offers for information needed to the capture of noted terrorist Phineas Wells. Arty greeting, potential customer. Who Welcome to Auntie's yeah. Kitchen, a home-style consumable protein dispensary where this unit dispense proteins for your ingestion. See what you got, and you just a glorified vending machine. Beginning dispensing sequence. Please unblock all relevant facial protein ingestion tubes. <laughs> he doesn't have anything else yet. Is any of the news they play here actually true? Something the matter? Yeah, we don't want to start hacking stuff yet. 
If you don't pay your docking fees, your ship gets seized. I've seen it happen. Yeah, I know it happened to me. You look like someone who's taken their share of cuts and bruises. Need some armor? Maybe it's a bit secondhand, but that's only a testament to its durability. We also have a line of specialized melee weapons. For those times you have to repel borders, but don't want to risk a bullet through the hull. Let's see what you got. He really is all about the melee, isn't he? What the kind of armor he has. Elite troop armor. Nice. Heavy. Standard troop armor. Medium. Medium. Oh, look at the helmet. Armor. Block 5. Level on mm. how much? Forty nine. I can buy that. Uh, stealth skills, mainly weapons, stealth skills. Ooh, goggles. Sneak five. Shame we can't see them in crypt. Mods you got. Range weapon skills modifications. Plus five. Uh, dialogue options. Plus ten. Dialogue skills plus five. Increased body armor. Maybe tree. What do we got here? We got power attack plus twenty percent. These are expensive. Very expensive. Can't even afford them. Sell our junk, I guess. That's not junk. Pleasure doing business with you. If you're hungry, you've come to the right place. I've got a fresh ground batch of Spratwurst cooking. They're terrified to lock in the juices. How mm. about a grinder? Juicy. Fresh from the grinder, any hour. You have a face on your mother could love, Mrs. Maniac on Monarch still screaming into the comms void. Getting real sick of it. Following that series? The hunt for the Wimbro? The pirate ship? I don't go in for docu-serials. The bounty hunter who's been after them? Fuller? Man pee pancake mix. Now requires no mixing. Seriously. Did we read these already? You made your space of size when you signed the employment contract. I'm telling you that doesn't fit, fit right. Something wrong with it. How many people have worn this thing before me? This is my life now because if it is, I'll take it. I'll be your moon man, but there won't be anything left for me to carry. Hope you're doing well. Mom, Todd, I'll check in. Engineer's face is at the shop of once. I remember when I used to turn a wrench back home on Tower 2. Linnea Hagen over in Sublay told me that I could always persuade a career in salvage. Things doesn't work out. Please give Dad and the others a hug for me. Mom, it's really great that we can stay in touch like this. Let me remind her that home are more important than ever. Enjoy the quality spare choice goods I sent. You can get ones just like them at home but i figured you might appreciate getting the company discount at all and then discount and all i know it's bad as the one 
whose office is closed to our radios as you can imagine why I want to take three showers every day and heal you we got eyes on the problem and hands on tools it's mechanical problem with mechanical the mechanical solution in the time meantime enjoy some additional water actions and take breaks you deserve them if you're trusting for tool air talk to your Russia engineer about spots with fluid correlation. Okay. Speaking uh, energetically flexible spatial with stellar bail landing clearance. Payment in exchange for return of legal salvage. Details given upon exception of contract. Active warrants, prior convictions, no questions asked. Our background checks filter. Our criminal well frags possible deniability is the sublight way. <laughs> Fill in every details. All needs corporate office, anyone found in property will find accordingly. Blah blah blah. PS please note that the next spatial court drinking on the stairs outside the embassy may find themselves on the rude side of an air block. TPS. This is the third time I've had to post this message. I'm sick and tired of it. I will not hesitate to open a board. Thanks in investigation into our behavior. And when you are caught, punished accordingly. <laughs> Someone's pissing on steps. Gotta love it. I'm not going anywhere, you hear? You can't get me out of there. Please don't make a scene, Dr. Fenhill. I am not making a scene. I'm sorry. Am I causing a scene? See, Umfuru? We could have avoided all this unpleasantness if you just let me talk to Jesse in the first place. What about this? What's this about your friend? Let me get one thing straight. Jesse and I are not friends. I just owe her, okay? As for the rest, I'm trying to figure that out. All I know is that she's been here too long and she's apparently not receiving visitors. Maybe I can look in on Jessie. Wait, you don't even know her, but you're checking on her. Jessie sounds normal to me. You say that like it's weird. None of my business. I was just curious. But why bother? That's just very noble of you. It is most certainly not. And watch where you go saying that, okay? You're gonna give people the wrong idea. I just don't like to leave a debt unpaid, that's all. Maybe I can look in on Jesse. Jesse just sounds normal to me. Well, good luck with that. Be my guest. If you know something I don't about dealing with hospital bureaucracy, I'll be impressed. Something I can help you with? Uh, I'd like to see Jesse Dial. Can I buy supplies from you? You seem well stocked. Not without dispensation from Chief June Lei, I fear. Supplies are hard to come by out here. Uh, how do you mean? I'd like to see Jesse Dial. We don't have the ability to manufacture our own medical supplies here on Groundbreaker. Regrettably, we are dependent on the board for such mundane items as bandages and antibiotics, as well as more critical resources like adequately trained staff. We'd nearly signed a supply agreement with Anticleos, but they demanded we only use their branded drugs, and that's simply not tenable. I'd like to see Jesse Dial, please. If only my other patients had so many inquiring after them. I'll tell you what I've told the others. The records say Miss Doyle checked herself in and requested I admit no visitors. The requests of our patients are paramount, so no, you may not see her. Just asking the records say, have you actually spoken to her yourself? What was she a her for? Why would she refuse visitors? She's not my patient. I'm certain no one on my staff would falsify patient records. If that's what you're implying. 
Oh, well, I guess that ends that. Take care. I guess I could murder them all. Right, Parvati? Wanna murder people? Yeah? <laughs> Good luck getting to Jesse. And better luck if you do. It's a real piece of work. Not happening. Good luck getting to Jesse. Yeah. And better luck if you do. Something tells me we're going to be bumping into her a lot because she's like the poster child of the video game. So I guess we'll be seeing her again. <laughs> I'm sorry about the heat. Chief Tennyson will get the radiators fixed soon. Of course, this heat sure makes a zero G brew extra refreshing. It's an ale that's good for what ails you. Oh, and it's not the best choice, it's Spacer's choice. Taste the freedom. A lot of slogans to keep track of. Sometimes I forget. You walk for Spacer size, ever been to Edgewater? Fair warning. I'm still logged into one of those public terminals. Let's see what you got for sale. I'm gonna ask you about that hat. What do you sell here? I'm bound to satisfy headgear related inquiries. Please send any complaints to our consumer care headwear division. Oh, I'm having a stellar day. And not just because I'm legally obligated to say so. Almost as stellar as a spacer's choice is affordable. And you'd see in there. Where can I get a hat like yours? Not for that talk. Let's see what you're selling. Where can I get one of your wonderful toys? You would never ask if you knew what it's like in here. <laughs> I mean, why anyone can be a Spacer's Choice Consumer Relations Choice Specialist. Just keep your nose clean and aim for the moon. I can see all of the top quality merchandise in the <laughs> Spacer's Choice catalog, which is available here at a reasonable price. How do you brush your teeth? <laughs> Let's see what you're selling. Uh, Any pew pews? Ah, we can buy the hat. <laughs> oh god, we might buy it just for shits and giggles. I'm a bit stuck in cash at the moment. My control armor. What mods you got? Any good mods? Uh, magazine size plus 50. How much is that? 585. Uh, one time barrel critical damage 25%. How much is that? 975. Damage type plasma. Attack speed plus 15%. Not bad. Put on that to one of the characters, 975. Got some good stuff here. Range weapons. Highlight range. Oh, I already have one of them. 390. Hmm, good stuff. I'll be back. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. Did we see this already? Remember Auntie Cleo? Because she remembers you. When you were sick, who took your temperature? When you were hungry, who gave you a needle full of blood? Auntie Cleo, that's who. Have you given your auntie a hug today? You've been listening to Halcyon News. Your mandated duty as a good citizen of Halcyon. Okay. How do you do? And uh, welcome to the rest and go. We used to be the go and rest, but folks never knew when to leave. 
Sorry. Business has been slow. Anything to occupy the time. I'm looking for Gladys. Oh, you can't miss her. Right behind you, number two. First unit on the left, or second unit from the right, depending on which direction you count from. How's life in Groundbreaker? Fine, as long as the board keeps its grubby mitts to itself. Chief Tennyson holds the ship together, the promenade holds our economy together, and Sublight is the shoddy jewel in our rusty old crown. Eh, look at the glad how does Groundbreaker keep the board up being mentioned sublight? Do you do business with the promenade monsoon? Of course. Most of our supplies come and go through merchants. Company ships and salvage runs are the only traffic we tend to get. I try and steer clear of that creepy fellow in the moon mask. If there's a cost <laughs> to being a company man, mm. he paid it in spades. Yeah. He paid something in spades, that's for sure. Our chief Tennyson has an independent streak, same as her mother and grandmother who rode this ship on the crossing. There's a reason the board's embassy is a glorified shoebox. While Junlei Tennyson lives and breathes, Groundbreaker remains free. Our local garbage collectors. That Lilia Hagen never met a debris field she didn't like. She freely admits she planted her roots in Groundbreaker to escape board oversight. But I think there's more to it. She's unusual in the head, that one. Hmm, bit like me. Oh, 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 he's Gladys. Can I shoot you without getting in trouble, you little shit? Move along. Hello, Gladys. I've heard so much about you. Bless my heart. A stranger come knocking on a poor old woman's door. You here for a particular reason? Or did the neighbors tell you how good my sugar cookies are? <laughs> Made without a single natural ingredient. Or an oven. Just like store-bought. Uh, Perry sent me. He said you could send me some now cheap Stella Bay. I'll do what you got for sale, trade. Those have been the height of illegality since Stellar Bay turned their noses up at the board. You and I could be thrown to the void just for discussing such a transaction. Lucky for us, Groundbreaker's a free port. We're outside of the board's control. For the time being, at least. Now, I only have the one nav key. And they're hard to come by these days. It won't be cheap. Oh, shit. If you find yourself lacking in the bits, I might have an opportunity you'd be interested in. Oh, tell me about this opportunity. Any chance of a discount? Since Perry sent me, no one's ever found my bits lacking. <laughs> uh, tempted, I'm tempted, but we won't. Well. I find I'm in need of a ship captain with a little moral flexibility. Might be this could help out the groundbreaker, as well as earn some bits. But if you've got qualms... No qualms here. Let's hear the details. What other jobs do you know about? Do you know Edna over in engineering? Sweet as a pea, that one. On occasion, she'll pass along transmissions I might find interesting. She sent me a recording of a distress signal she'd scraped from the Groundbreaker's comm array. Curious thing is, it came from an outpost called Roseway. And Angie Cleo abandoned that place years ago. Hey, no more. I'm in. Why, wo why was Roseway abandoned? Maybe it's some sort of automated message. Can't say I know for sure. Maybe it never really was. Comm centers don't operate themselves, Captain. Someone had to have sent that distress call manually. Those corps are cleverer than all get out. Might have been a ruse to keep the rest of the board from sniffing around. Say no more, I mean. Edna didn't seem to think so, and I trust the dear girl's judgment. Well, maybe not in men, but she knows for comms. So like as not, someone's been down there recently. And if someone set up shop in Roseway, I'd wager they got something to hide. 
If it's Copper Town, it's something to hide. Why the SOS? Sounds like an opportunity, alright. They're hiding something that won't be liable to suit on sight. Want to be liable to suit on <laughs> Maybe whatever they're hiding went to heck, and now they need a few spare hands to clean up the mess. If you should find a secret worth selling, might be I could find a buyer. Corporate bigwigs will pay top bit for inside information on their competitors. The more we got the corpse fighting each other, the less time they got to meddle in our affairs. Well, you need someone to snoop around for you. My services don't come cheap. You can see where this is going. Help me out. My goodness, aren't you quick on the uptake? Well, I try. I like that. <laughs> Should you find yourself responding to a certain distress call, and in so doing find yourself in possession of certain valuable corporate secrets, well, then we ought to have a chat over a pot of tea and my famous cookies. You can count me in. I'll stop by if I find anything. It sounds shady, lady. No thanks. Law bless your atoms. Here's a copy of the SOS recording complete with the coordinates. Don't forget to come find old Gladys when you're done. What other jobs do you know about? Let me see what you got for sale. Might want to acquaint yourself with Junlei Tennyson, Groundbreaker's chief. She's been trying to get a handle on this heat problem we've got. You'll find her fretting in engineering. I'd say she's a sweet girl, but law for fen someone call me a liar. Uh, I want to talk about the opportunity. Let's see what you have for sale. I found a handsome ceramic mandapillar at a salvage auction last week. What guns you got? Ooh. Restricted stock cannot be purchased. Just restricted experience. Oh. Thanks for nothing. Salvages helper. Look at the damage on that. 660. What? Acid damage by the looks of it. No armor. What about mods? What we got? We got a magazine and we got attack speed and we got melee weapon skill plus five, defense skill is plus ten. Dodge distance, gotcha. And the usual. Well, thanks. God, we have so many missions. What's this one? Passage to anywhere. Nice contract. We need to talk to the Bulford guy now, don't we? Mention that he gave a voice to from the holographic shroud. Yeah, I already have that. Versus a new Nelky Potter, the Bedford guy. He's in the fancy building. What we got? Plasma. Carry capacity. That is nice to have, but I already have it. Uh, magazine size, uh, stock, and scanner. Uh, range weapon skill and attack speed, 400. And power attack damage, 20%. Find a troop armor. I think that's what the guys are wearing on the station. Let's 
Let's put away the gun. We don't want to scare people. This is Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. Do you have what it takes to defend your corporate township from the dangers of alien wildlife and the unemployed? And the unemployed. Talk to your local manager about applying for military training and lend your life to protecting our wonderful brown. Those nasty unemployed people. Military service does not guarantee full employment rights, tax breaks, military discounts, health benefits, military burials, participation medal, training, or weapons. <laughs> Seeking relief from the heat? Till June Lay gets those radiators fixed, I've got the next best thing. Let me see what you got. What ain't I got? Nothing. Nothing that I want anyway. Not yet anyway. A new face. What's your pleasure, stranger? Let's pump this person for information. All Trojans come here to here, hearing anything interesting? Only the usual. Marauders all over space. You ever wonder how folk who can't figure the bleeding edge technology of a spoon can manage to get ships into space? Uh, what's the heat issue? I hear people complaining about it. The radiators, they're fucked ten ways to Sunday. And we're all sweating buckets wondering when the powers that be are gonna get around to fixing it. Engineering sounds like you might have an issue with your thermal control system. What do you need radiators for? Who's in charge of fixing it? Maybe I can do something about that. Oh well, good luck. Couldn't say, and I wouldn't be pouring drinks professionally if I could. All I know is we're cooking in our own juices here and it's only gonna get worse. They're supposed to gather up all the heat the systems generate and vent it into space. Instead of the heat going where it ought, though, it seems to be blowing straight down the promenade. Promenade. <laughs> Weeks? I lost track. Too law damn long. Engineering. Chief Junlei Tennyson, to be precise. She runs this heap. Best she can, anyway. Don't know what's got her dragging her heels, but I wish she'd hurry it up. Maybe I can do something with that. That's not for me to say. But if you're feeling the urge toward helpfulness, you can find Chief Jun Lei in engineering. There's nobody who knows more about the station's guts. Any system you could name, Jun's crawled around inside and made it better. She doesn't come around here often, though. Don't see her as much of a drinker. Too straight lace for that. Thank you. Come again. In the kitchen there. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> this is Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. Crossball finals are scheduled to air soon, but a scandal has rocked the league and thrown this pivotal game into question. Both teams have tested negative for performance-enhancing stims, a toss ball first. Coaches and referees are debating how and if this behavior could lead to an unfair advantage. This has been Halcyon News. Actually, we could talk to the chef. He might have a mission for us. Talk to Vera nope. if you need something. She's usually behind the bar. Welcome to the Lost Hope. Our little tribute to the mystery. Yeah, we got to talk to this uh, big guy up here. Sounds like a plan. Ah, yes. 
Wheeler messaged me you were coming. He must be the captain of the Unreliable, a vessel that used to be helmed by one Alex Hawthorne. And you are not he. Has something happened to my favorite scruffy freelancer? I landed on his head. Again, Alex. If I impound my ship, I'm going to write your scrawny neck. You <laughs> sprat folk. Give me back my ship. Alex isn't important. I'm here to turn in. Perlis Farrells. I'm not dealing with you right now. Oh no. This is terrible. My dear friend, what devilry is this? In whose miserable fever dream am I trapped? Sorry for your loss. You got Alex. Oh, you found the ship. I'm gonna write and Alex is important. Oh, Alex. There were so many arguments we'd yet to have. What was your relationship with him? You got Alex. I'm going. He was my dearest friend. My only friend. You have his ship, you must know. That picture of us on the promenade, me hugging him, him wincing. I keep a copy beside my bed. Did he? Uh, I really wouldn't know. Yeah, we can lie. Ah, that's just like him. Such a sentimental man. Tell me, how did he die? I landed on his head. <laughs> he was eaten alive by feral candidates. He died in an escape pod accident. Must be you don't want to know the details. Uh... You're quite right, of course. Best not to pry into such dismal things. Again, I'm very sorry. Can we get back to the topic at hand? Right, right. You are going important places, I'm sure. Big, exciting, important places. <laughs> There, I've removed the flag from your ship. I'm terribly sorry for the inconvenience. Nice. Uh, however, before you go... I thought I would have to kill them all. Alex promised to tell me the location of Phineas Wells. I'm sure you've seen his wanted posters all over the colony. Did Alex tell you where Wells might be? Anything at all? Hmm. Why is the ball so interested in Wells anyway? Why do you think I know anything about Wells? I know where to find Phineas Wells. Alex never mentioned. That's... Uh, well, that's just terrible news. Oh, what am I going to do now? The board will have my head. Oh, I'm sorry. This is terribly unprofessional of me. Is there anything else I might help you with? Uh... Why, why is the board about having your head? No, I find I want to ask you something else. It's personal business, I'm afraid. Uh, miserably, terribly personal. Anything I can do to help? A plain card, Burford. Information on the whereabouts of Phineas Wells would go a long way. It's, well, it's my white whale, I suppose. All right, I tell you, uh, nope, I ain't telling them. I can't tell you where Wells is. It's fine, really. It's perfectly fine. I understand. Now, if you've nothing else, please see yourself out. I'd like to drown myself in work. Be my guest. What do we got? What do you do here exactly? Can you get me to Shelter Bay? Does it seem to be hot for you here? What are those locked doors in the back? A luxury stateroom, reserved for Chairman Rockwell's use. Oh, good law, of course not. He'd never set foot on this decrepit junk pile. As this office is the primary embassy for the board on Groundbreaker, corporate bylaws specifically state a room must be maintained for the Chairman's exclusive use. What do you do here exactly? Oh, good law! Who'd want to go to that toxic hell pit? 
Oh no. No. Emphatically no. Unequivocally no. Immutably no. <laughs> no would have done. You didn't have to crack open. <laughs> what do you do here exactly? I'm the certified representative of the board's interests here on the Groundbreaker. I'm their eyes, ears, and busy little hands. Big fish and small space stations. Nice setup. That doesn't answer my question. I have few complaints. Why are you... Why, why are there arms out here? Oh, you've noticed my friends. Wonderful. Aren't their guns very large? Tremendously impressive. They're here to keep the peace, of course. <laughs> of course. Seems like you're looking for a fight to me. Someone has to. Indeed. What is the saying? The two most common elements in the universe are hydrogen and stupidity. I have a strange <laughs> feeling I'm going to be killing this Someone guy. Someone must stand for reason and order, and the board is best equipped to do so. Please, go ahead. Ugh. Oh, but it's miserable. My underarms are damp. How can I be expected to work in these conditions? Chief Tennyson is supposedly looking into the cause, but I've seen no action from her. Deplorable conduct. My superiors will be hearing about it. You can be certain of that. Ask away. Uh, we're done. I ain't telling them where the scientist is. He's a big boy, he can look out for himself. Now what are we doing? Oh, there's more. This is Rose XF411? And an old Yakita 37? You think they'd let me peek at the power plant? Oh no. Put away the gun. Jesus. Junlei Tennyson. I'm captain around here, but chief to my friends. Hope you don't mind the formal introduction. Groundbreaker doesn't see many visitors. Max, nice place you've got here, Chief. I'm Captain on Blarve, a recently on Tackle Boom. Brian Berker's impound. I don't plan on staying long. No, it isn't. It's a mess. But it's my mess, so I'll take the compliment. Just so we understand each other, I'm the final word on the ship. The Mardits, the crew, the engineers, their family. I hope there won't be any problems while you're visiting. I'll do whatever I can to uh, help you keep the peace. Try not to start any fights, but I might have to end some. <laughs> Salute. Copy that, Chief. I think the salute might be a bit too much. Good. Don't go making trouble, and chances are you won't find any. That's how I like it here. So what brings you to Groundbreaker? I'm curious, even though nine times out of ten, the answer is just passing through. Now that's my ship's out of impound, I can safely say I'm headed for Manok. None of your business. Interesting. The powers that be paint an ugly picture of Monarch. Critters and such. Maybe someone in the promenade can get you the right weapon for the job. We see a lot of the same faces coming and going. Most of them board spies and corporate sprouts. Makes it hard to trust outsiders. You seem different, so welcome aboard. Righty, you wanted to talk to Junie. Go ahead. I hear you're having a heat problem. What's going on? Groundbreaker's radiators need replacement parts. They're dumping superheated air into my ship. Why haven't you fixed them yet? I'm sure your capable staff can stay ahead of the problem. My engineers have managed to keep the heat to livable levels. But all the fixes are temporary. This wound is bound to fester. 
Only the board has access to new parts, and I won't let them swindle me into a corner. Is there no room to compromise? Only the board doesn't want Tom Baker to roll us. None. Every time I give in to the board, Groundbreaker loses its freedom. Soon there won't be anything left. I can't allow that. The board isn't helping and my resources are spread thin. If I don't get those radiators back online, Groundbreaker, everyone on board, will be cooked alive. Okay. We need a uh, contractor to work this out. I'm available for a reasonable rate. Any way I can help? How do the heat radiators work? Reasonable, huh? That's the best news I've heard all day. According to my grandmother's old schematics, the parts we need should be in the back bays. Got it. I'll take care of it right now. The back bays? Am I supposed to know where that is? How do you know that the parts are still there? But there's a catch, right? The back bays are on a lower deck, long abandoned, and a haven for miscreants now. I get you those parts from the back bay. Can't get those parts anywhere else. Let me try and talk this out with whoever's down there. Have you tried uh, sending anyone else down there to get the parts? I'll talk it over with my crew and get back to you. I have. One of my engineers, plus a small security detail. They didn't come back. I can't afford to lose any Mardits on this job. No offense, but a freelancer like you is more dispensable. Done taken. Flash a rude gesture in both hands. Nice and pragmatic. Thanks for understanding. Uh, can't you get the pass anywhere else? You must not have been here long. In Halcyon, new parts come by way of interstellar freighters from Earth, and the board monopolizes that kind of trade. That means I'd have to negotiate with the board. I've already given them the shops, the docking fees, and a damn embassy. The negotiation sounds like a bureaucratic coup. Aren't you just delaying the inevitable by cannibalizing groundbreaker systems? Damn right. And while I'm captain of the Groundbreaker, it falls to me to preserve this ship's independence. Let me try and talk this out with uh, see whatever is down there. Those idiots are immune to reason, and they don't much care if the station melts to pieces. They're content to die last. If you could find some way to solve this without violence, I'd prefer that. But more than anything, we need those parts. I'll get those parts. Back from the base. Good. Once you've obtained the parts, we can proceed to the next phase of repairs. Alright, no problem. Oh. Speak your mind. Honestly, I could use the distraction. What? I didn't think you just... Parvati, is it? That's a lovely name. What can I do for you? I was just thinking... I haven't got much experience working with actual, real spaceships, Miss Junlei. Uh, uh, Chief Junlei. Junlei is fine. No need to be so formal, Barbie. Let's follow it. Um, okay. <laughs> Since you run a whole space station, I was wondering if, well, maybe you could teach me some things. I could message you later, maybe? I'd be happy to make the time, Parvati. You can ask me anything. Don't be shy about requesting time off if you need to compare notes in person. Uh... Right! In person! Sh sure thing, Captain. Wow, great! I I'll do that then. Messages. Later. Oh! Your your name's pretty too. I should have said sorry. I like it. Honest. Sorry. Thanks, Union. I uh, had some other question for you. Uh this was a nice job, buddy. We'll be on our way. Couldn't have done it without your moral support, Captain. Now, if there's nothing else, there are other parts of the ship begging for my attention. 
Uh, yeah, we'll be on our own. Noise! Ka ching! Skills, skills, skills. Noise. Uh, ballistic power regulations, melee power attacks by holding the attack button. Rats. Oh, congrats. Thanks, Sam. <laughs> I thought you just said some random name randomly. <laughs> Thanks, Sam. By holding the attack button, you charge up a power attack that inflicts significant extra damage. You can just charge up during a standard attack where you prepare a strong sweep of attack and can hit multiple enemies in front of you. And it's to avoid company power is not to be wasted on personal projects. You have unlocked the dialogue combat skill. When attacking the correct type of target, they are automatically disabilitated. Yeah. Uh, sorry, congrats. Uh, no problem, Sam. <laughs> no problem, man. Uh, at the good god, we unlocked a lot of shit, didn't we? And to clear an old friend's name, companion's abilities. Ah, we got their... We got their abilities unlocked. Nice. On the enemy you're targeting. Oh, gotcha. Did you... Did you... Upload, did you get a upgrade? No, you didn't. Alright, I guess we're going downstairs to kill people. When your time block just as an enemy open them up. Okay. How do we block? This is Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. Some townsmen have asked Halcyon News to make a statement regarding rumors of food shortages. Rest assured. The far-sighted corporate leaders of Halcyon have tailored their product lines to be selective to the refined customer. Scheduled scarcity is a premium feature of colonial life. This is Halcyon News, reminding you that there's no I in news. No uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Right, which one? Is the bunk where we go downstairs and kill people? Keep going back to the room. Do you want to see the salvage parts you need from all the machinery in the back bay? Do that. We haven't botched any missions yet, so that's nice. Right, so where are these bad boys? Right. The elevator? We in Halcyon and no Mercury in Fatu. No, we can't rob them. You should clear out. Engineering just needs to be honored. All right. Time to put on my combat gear.
Noise. Terror on the frontier, a mysterious stranger threatens our way of life. The destruction of Emerald Vale. Come to a movie theater near you. Who's there? Hey, McRed, were you expecting any company? A neighbor from above approaches our realm. Where's my big boy? Back away now, or he'll parley with the king. Can we talk to these people? Look at this ripe piece of meat just sizzling on the grill. Huh. Yum, yum. Time to feed the flames. It's nothing personal. Promise. Is this what carbon monoxide poisoning looks like? <laughs> I don't think this deck is too well ventilated. You came with the crew. Welcome. We got plenty of space to spread out, but only room for one captain. Hmm. I'm just exploring the ship and stumbled on this level. If nothing's personal, I'll be going. Attack, neither is this. You stumbled into my court without an invitation, neighbor from above. If you don't have any business, then it's time to light up the grill. Yet. No one turns their back on me while I'm holding court. Get them, boys! Oh, bollocks. We made a boo boo. <laughs> Shit. We got punished. Ouch is right, Sam. We got smacked. Still, my new armor lasted about lasted longer than than you know. So uh, the upgrades, I can definitely feel the upgrades. We did yesterday. I wonder if putting on the on me talkie hat would help. I don't think it would. I don't think that's gonna help. Uh, hey Pocket Mama. Thank you so much for the follow. Much appreciated. Sit back and enjoy the show. Uh, average. I can't see the numbers, can I? I can. Uh, actually, no. We don't have enough to blag our way through this. Uh, we, we're just gonna have to go balls to the wall violence. Oh no, whatever will we do? <laughs> uh, I think we need to go back to the shop and I need to Actually No, we're good. We're good. All right, Parvetti. Are you ready? You look ready. Alright, I want a nice clean dispersal this time. Hudson, 
Run a bypass. Hey, McRed. You know, the you boy. expecting any company? A neighbor from above approaches our realm. Back away now, or you'll parley with the king. What do you think we should do? Kill him? I think we should get yeah, the nod of the head says it all. I don't think there's any point talking to these people. I think we should just kill them. Look at this ripe piece of meat just sizzling on the grill. Huh. Yum yum. Time to feed the flames. It's nothing personal. Promise. Is this what carbon monoxide poisoning looks like? I don't think this deck is too well ventilated. Hmm. You came with the crew. Welcome. We got plenty of space to spread out, but only room for one captain. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Need the stairs. Incoming. Get wrecked, buddy boys. Oh. Hmm, something tells me we're not meant to be down here yet. Fabulous Vader Brothers. Hammersmith Thunder. Hammersmith invite you to come see. Uh, let's let's go back to the ship, look at what weapons we have, and see what we can do. Have you seen this man? Reward offers for information needed. Oh, hello. You know that sound when you've snapped on an injector clip? Ah, that's how you know your weapon loves you back. I got a full line of weapon modifications I'd be happy to show you. Uh, let's see what you got for sale, missus. Here your mods. We got tight muzzle. Uh, critical hit damage plus 25 percent damage stamps is okay we got melee durability plus 25 plasma i can't even afford these okay i'll be back let's see i've never seen that rifle before Ooh, someone has got to talk with Chief Tennyson about the thermostat around here. Yeah, I'm working Ooh, on it. Ain't gonna be me. So, you buying? I might be. Why, it gets you the weapon best suited for your lifestyle. All the better for performing a little percussive maintenance. Take your basic Deadeye assault rifle. Perfectly serviceable. But what if you like finesse? Slap a scope and silencer on that bad boy. Bunker down in a bush someplace and pop off heads. What if you like getting in close and making a lot of noise? Extended ammo magazine and a barreled heat sink to bump up rate of fire. How do I attach them? I know how to attach them. Uh, keep them here tonight. Can I take the mod off or replace it? I don't think you can, can you? Uh, no, no and yes. When you install something, it pops in there real nice, but if you want to replace it, the originals tend to snap like plastic toys. Uh, does modify a weapon void the warranty? <laughs> we gotta ask a that. What? <laughs> Sorry, hon. 
Here at Bell's Shells, we just don't discuss impolite topics, and W-A-R-R-A-N-T-I-E-S tops the list. <laughs> uh, all over the place. You can find modifications all over the place. So, what can I get you? Uh, I see your rifles, actually. Shotgun, I have one of those. I have the plasma rifle, I have all the rest of them. I don't have that. Dead Eye Assault Rifle. Might steal it later, Barbara. But don't say anything. I don't want crew. There's this rifle. You got a second? Let me guess. You want to join my crew? Fancy running into you again. Yeah, fancy. Don't mind me. <laughs> admiring your ship from up close. Gotta hand it to you, boss. That's a fine looking ship. Only thing it's missing is me. You're pretty eager to throw her in with somebody you barely know. Why are you stalking me? I don't really appreciate being stalked. Yes, I absolutely am. Just give me a shot. That's all I'm asking. I could be the best damn crew you ever hired. I've heard enough. You've hired. All right, Felix. Tell me why I should hire you. Okay, Felix, continue with this your interview temperament. If you're trying to convince me to hire you, you're going all about it wrong. I'm not going to repeat myself. Get lost. Uh. Why should I hire you? are serious. You? You're giving me a shot. All right. Uh, hang on. Hang on. I put together a little speech, just <laughs> in case you asked. Hey there. I'm Felix Millstone. I have prepared a list of reasons why I believe oh, Jesus you Christ, should hire me, me to, to join the crew of your ship and or outlaw gang. I'm enjoying this. Go on. You reading off your hand. Okay, I'm starting to grant I asked. <laughs> no, no, no. Wait. Let me finish. I wrote this down and everything. Firstly, <laughs> I am highly personable, and I get along well with anyone who is not of the jackass persuasion. <laughs> Sorry. He's funny. Uh, secondly, I can be counted on in the event of a firefight, standoff, and or raid. My motto is, if you need a steady gun hand, I'm your man. That motto is a, it's a work in progress. Uh, let him continue. Hey, Felix, I'm gonna stop you right there. Additionally, I have several years of experience as a box hauler. This skill may come in handy if you need a body dragged away or a door held open while escaping enemy fire. In conclusion, thank you for considering me for your ship crew and or outlaw gang. I look forward to our adventures together. I thought that was real good, Felix. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Oh, well, power valve likes him. Am I in? Only because you made power valve laugh. I hear you, and I heard enough. You're hired. Dragging off bodies here, that's. What the hell kind of ship you think I'm running? I haven't made up my mind about you. How about an interview? Oh, I'll just give him the job. Wow. <laughs> you don't know how long I've been waiting to hear that. Thanks, boss. You're not going to regret this. You got a crew now, Felix. Ah, welcome aboard. You're back. Not that I missed you. I assure you, I am not capable of such emotional capacity. 
Thanks, Ada. Much appreciated. He didn't have any picture of that guy, did he? No, he didn't. Uh. Is he buzzing? Oh, he leveled up. Welcome to the party, pal. Thought I did this last night. Oh, this is uh, the new guy. This is Felix. He's wearing carrying enemies. Uh, what about uh, threat generated? What's he using? Oddspod stick. And he's got a grenade launcher. Oh, there's nothing wrong with his uh, taste and weapons. Give him, give him a suit of armor, I guess. Light. Light. Got any heavy armor for him? We don't. Beggars can't be choosers, huh? Well, he's just gonna have to learn to like it, isn't he? We'll keep an eye out for some heavy armor for him. No doubt we'll be picking some up at some stage. Well, actually, we can give him the give him the raiders thing that I was wearing. I'm not using it anymore. I've got better armor. It does have five tech skills, so maybe we should. Yeah, I'll keep that for me. Got a grenade launcher. Good job. I need to shout out my weapons. Plasma rifle. I should start using the plasma rifle. Light assault rifle. Fifteen. Auto mag. One or two, not one or two. Clarity one. I think we'll give that to the new Felix.
speed grip melee attack speed 15% mr. ouch power attack 20% it's gonna do some damage would you would like a reminder on when your next shower is scheduled Captain Hawthorne seems to be more dashing. I think we'll get rid of the bolter and put in something else. Oh, that's not what I wanted. What did I just do? Did I break that pistol down? Oh, I dropped it. I want to drop it. No, I don't want to repair it. Yeah, what the hell's going on here? Why can't I get this out of my inventory? It won't on a crib. The hell? Why won't it why won't it get lost? bug why won't that get lost I can't unequip the bloody thing is it because I'm holding it because I'm holding it right it is son of a bitch Keep forgetting that. That's a funny one. That's a funny one. Wait a minute. Why do we have two of these now? Did I just duplicate that? Definitely gonna have to get the uh, damage up in the old sniper rifle. Would you like a reminder on when your next shower is scheduled? Did you beat the crazy guy with the goggles yet? No, no, Remember, I'm just gonna mess around with my finished. weapons. Oh, you're good, Sam. You're good, man. I'm just gonna mess around with my weapons. Uh, 
can we put on it? I'm looking for a silence weapon, but we don't have it. Yuck. Plasma. I have enough plasma to be honest. Uh, firing knives. Oh, we can. Oh, we can have a silent shotgun, huh? Uh, critical damage plus twenty five percent. That might be nice to have that on the shotgun. What we got on this? Damage type shock. Plasma. Plasma shotgun? Or just a normal shotgun? Uh, modification bullets would explode into plasma when fired. Sounds nice. Let's do it. Let's uh, think over it. Ready, not bad. I'm good actually. That's the most hard hitting gun I've got. Plasma rifle. I'm not putting that to much use at all. See what we can do with that. Shock. Not a whole lot. Uh, cry muzzle. We can turn it into her. And turn it into shock, or we could put a silencer on it. I'm not sure. And we can only make that a shock weapon. Hmm. Well, we got cried muzzler. Yuck. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, nothing. Yeah, we really need we're hurting for money and mods. Shift during takeoffs and landing. Oh yeah, that is badass. Uh, it was in close range against unarmored targets. Can I do anything to the all machine gun? No. I don't want to change the shock. Guess we're going in like this. Hey,
All right, let's boogie. Uh, Felix, you've got a bloody grenade launcher. I'm bringing you with me, bud. Oh yeah, looking good, bud. Try it there. <laughs> We're stuck for mods. We're stuck for cash. The distant destiny hunter. When injured servants share our fire heed, anarchy soon follows. First edition. Number three hundred and six. Looks a lot like comics from the 80s. Alright, let's get this done. Oh, I've got two of you with me. <laughs> Have either of the assault cases ever been? Oh, yeah, this is gonna be good. I didn't know you could bring two of them with you. We got a kill team now. Can you see this man? Reward offered for information leading to the capture of noted terrorists. Are we ready, boys and girls? Any sighting to your local board embassy. Oh, make sure I have my war hat on. We do. Oh, we use those superpowers as well. Who's there? Hey, McRed, were you expecting any company? A neighbor from oh, above approaches our realm. Back away now, or he'll parley with the. You're <laughs> him with that flying kick he really committed to it <laughs> I thought his special attack was gonna be something more than that Jesus Christ Oh, it's nearly time for dindons. And when I mean it's nearly time for dindons, it means uh, this guy sucks. <laughs> With his flying kick. It's nearly time for dindons. We'll get this job done. We'll kill these people. And then I'll have to I'll have to go and cook some food for me and the missus. Hey McRed, were you expecting any company? A neighbor from above approaches our realm. Out of my way! No, that's not what I wanted. Oh, he just went straight for me. 
Yawning. Oh, well. I'm sorry, Cisco. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Can't all be winners now, Cisco, can they? That's just life. Some days you get jelly beans, other days you get candy corn. That's just the way it is. Right now we're sucking candy corn. <laughs> Who am I in control here? Coming back. Yep, be right over. Coming your way. Be right there. Hmm, yeah, okay. Through the cat or yawning. <laughs> yes, I know. We'll get him. We'll get him. Hey, you... That's more like it, Mrs. You picked the wrong corner, buddy boy. This fight to you, body boy. Yeah, get some. Good job, Pavel. Good job, Felix. Well done. I might not blow you out the airlock yet. Hmm, <laughs> free food. Free stuff. It's all mine now. Home sweet home. I did it. You sound surprised, Sam. Why do you sound surprised? <laughs> oh, I suppose we could have sneaked. That's always an option. Hey, hey guys, sneak, yeah? Yeah. That's what I thought. Mine. Ah, Sam, thanks for the the bits, man. Much appreciated, dude. Awesome stuff. You don't have to, but thank you. Oh, whoa, whoa, I thought you were just ordinary people. I thought they were just like Oh Jesus Christ What <laughs> Holy hell Yeah we're hacking Jesus Oh crap Oh god damn it <laughs> Oh my god we got destroyed You see that mech looking thing? I am. We got punished.
Jesus Christ. <laughs> I thought they, I thought we killed all the, the pirates. I thought we killed them all. I thought they were just normal people chilling in the background. How did they not help their friends? The friends that were killed like five five feet away from them. Meow. <laughs> My God. Oh no, we have to go through it all again. <laughs> Parvati's uh, special move is, is, is quite useful. But but that Felix special special move needs to uh you need to up your game, Felix. That's what I'm saying, bud. You need to up your game. You're being outdone by Pavetti here. Yeah, yeah. Don't don't be look. Give me that look. Right. <laughs> nice one. Oh, <laughs> right in the face. <laughs> I think we're dead here, peeps. <laughs> Chill, human. Drink your milk. I don't think that's going to work, Cisco. I don't think that's going to work. Uh, we don't do it this time. I think we'll take a break. I have to go and cook some dinner for the me for me and the missus before he starts pounding at the door, opens the door, grabs me with a scruff of my neck, and throws me into the kitchen. Could happen. I will give her one more gore. After that, we might do another mission, as we might not be powerful for this. It might not be the right level for this yet. Again, Sam, thanks for them 100 bits, man. Much appreciated. Thanks for the cheer. Right, Pavetti. Knock your. Knock. Go get him. Go get him. Instead of moving to the left, I am. I am the damn, damn, damn. Yeah, I think it's. I think they're overpowered. Even if we get past the first slot, we've got a we've got a guy in a mech suit to deal with. So I think, and we'll do a few more missions, a few other missions, and then come back to this one. I don't think my guns are up to the task. We need to get Felix. We need to get Felix a heavy armor set. That's what we need to do. Because right now he's in... He's only in the light armor. Which is not good. Not good for anyone.
Dialogue. I'm assuming no dialogue. Well, there's dialogue, but we don't have the magic touch. It's like 40, and I think we're at 30, 33, 37. Like, we're not too far away. So maybe, maybe if we do a few missions and up our skills a little bit, we might be able to talk our way past. I don't mind killing them. It's fun. But uh, I'm thinking we'll have to do a few missions. Get our speech up a little bit. And then we'll, we'll see what we can do. But anyway, I'm afraid I'm going to have to call it there, boys and girls. Okay, this still seems hella tough to fight. Yeah. I mean, we got past them, but I think it was pure fluke. <laughs> I think we it's one of those... Lukey, I think we could do it if I kept pushing it, but uh, I think we'll, we'll we'll go we'll just go and do we'll got other missions to do anyway. So I think we'll go off and do them. But anyway, I gotta go. I gotta go and cook some dinner for me and the missus because I am starving. I guarantee you, my missus is starving. So I don't know if I'm going to be back later on, guys, because it's Saturday, and Saturday is a date night for me and the missus. She likes to spend some time with me. So if I'm not back later, I will be... Yeah, I know, it's funny, right? She wants to spend time with me. Is she crazy? <laughs> but anyway, I'll definitely be back. Uh, I'll definitely be on tomorrow. No problem, Sam. I will see you later, bud. Hopefully, I, you know, put on the puppy dog tears and... And she might let me back on later on for an hour or two. But I don't know. Definitely tomorrow, though. Thanks for the bits again, Sam. Really helps the channel, man. Much appreciated. Twitch will notice me. And give me great power. <laughs> uh, I get, I get, uh, I get, uh, I get partnership. Yeah. That's the power. Uh -huh. Anyway, yeah. Dindins. Dindins is calling. Disco, catch you later, girl. Keep your head down. Hope you're feeling better. Sam, thanks for the bits, man. Much appreciated. And who and who? who, who oh yeah, Pocket Mama, if you're watching right now, thank you so much.